Hello guys, welcome to the chapter, Crafting Great Content for Twitter. In this lesson, we're going to talk about using hashtags properly. Let's get started. Hashtags are mostly used on any social media channel. On Twitter, it is an essential part of your tweets, especially if you want to make your posts searchable on Twitter. It's a great way to get your tweets discovered by a wider audience on Twitter. Your bio is a section of your profile where you must include hashtags. You can make your brand's hashtag and encourage your customers to use them as they post their tweets. You can use your brand's tagline to create your brand hashtag. In this example, this is their brand's tagline. Now let's check out their tweets. You can see here that they promote their products on their tweets. They use these hashtags in their promotion. This is their brand's tagline, and they have used it as their brand hashtag. This hashtag is also their brand hashtag that pertains to their community of the same interest with health and fitness. Their customers use it. If you click on this hashtag, you will see tweets from their customers. If you're a potential customer and you want to find out more reviews or feedback from their customers, then you can use their brand hashtags that their customers use to check out their tweets. You will know from these tweets how satisfied their customers are and if their products are effective. As a business competitor, you can use their brand hashtag to check out your competitor's community. You'll be able to check every tweet from these people who use their hashtag. And you'll be able to know what their customers like and the problems that they encounter. That can be your opportunity to create ideas that you can use to be more effective in using hashtags in your business. You can look for ideas that the brands in the same industry use and you can pattern that idea or improve it. Doing this will help improve your brand's content to be discovered by more potential audience. If you use hashtags on your tweets, make sure that your hashtags are readable since they don't have spaces in between them. If it contains multiple words, every keyword on your hashtag should start with a capital letter. This way, it will be easier to read and understand your hashtags as you use multiple keywords. As you can see in this example tweet, this user used multiple hashtags and they are all in small letters. Compared to this hashtag, this hashtag with capital letters is easier to read than the other hashtags with small letters. Don't overdo hashtags on your tweets. You have 280 characters that you can use in your tweets. Don't use them all just for hashtags. People won't see your tweets as a valuable content if you overdo your hashtags compared to using just two or three hashtags in your tweets. You must make it a goal to target the right people and not just more people. It's better to give more importance on quality rather than quantity. You may have more potential audience reach, but the number of interested users is not targeted properly. It's best that you use a few relevant hashtags on your tweets. Now that you know about using hashtags properly, we can now proceed to the next topic, finding great content using hashtags. I'll see you there. Sending comments to that tweet. Anyone interested in that particular tweet will keep on sending tweets to that thread and the conversation will continue to grow. You can join in the conversation to let yourself be known as a marketer or a business owner representing your brand to voice out your opinion about certain topics. As you can see here, this Twitter user joins in the thread and replied to this tweet with a product that can be relevant to this tweet. When people see this product, they can be curious about it and research this product. As they search for this product using the product name or hashtag, they can find tweets with a link to a website where people can purchase this product. From there, people can buy this product and they have discovered this product from searching for tweets. You can also try experimenting with which hashtag will come up with search results by getting keywords from this product name. As you can see, this keyword shows more relevant search results. So we can use this as a hashtag to browse for more content if you're looking to find products 
that we can purchase online. You can also check out the current popular hashtags and trends. By using the Explore menu, you can find the trending hashtags under the Trends section. You'll be able to see hashtags that are currently used by tons of people per day, which causes Twitter to categorize such hashtags as popular and trending hashtags. You can find relevant hashtags as you browse the search results from this hashtag that belongs to the top 20 trends in your location. As you can see in this example tweet, this user informs people about what is going on in their area. People who check out this hashtag will be updated and they will learn that this is what's happening today. You can see that there's a text here saying show this thread. When you click on the thread, you will see more photos showing people more detailed media about this tweet. As you can see here, people are replying to this tweet. They are voicing out their opinions as they learn that this is what's currently happening in their area. As we've seen great content, you may notice the tweet that promotes a product related to our hashtag also uses several hashtags relevant to this product. You can take note of these hashtags and you might discover more great content by searching for these hashtags here. Hashtags are a great way to group and categorize your tweets. People use hashtags to search for topics that they are interested in. They can use the search text box to find relevant topics they find useful for them. You can find articles that are linked to tweets as you search for hashtags. People are looking for content that is valuable rather than browsing their feed with random feeds from the people they follow. Now that you know about finding great content using hashtags, we can now proceed to the next topic, finding great content outside Twitter. I'll see you there. Hello guys, in this lesson, we're going to talk about finding great content outside Twitter. Let's get started. When crafting content on Twitter, you might struggle on finding interesting and relevant topics that you can tweet and share with your followers. You don't have to create the content from scratch. You can find great resources from the internet or results from search engines like Google. Find the relevant topics that you can share and use to craft your tweets. Curating content will help you in adding value to your audience without the struggle of creating great content by yourself. You can share content that you can find from websites outside Twitter. These can be articles, blogs, e-commerce sites that you want to share with your followers on Twitter that is relevant to your industry. You have to know your audience. Find out what interests them. You can check their profile, and from there, you can learn something from how they post tweets, what they mostly tweet about, and you can also view who they follow, and by checking that out, you'll be able to know the niche they're interested in. Ask questions. You can tweet about what your audience can expect to see tweets from your posts. You may ask them, what topics do you want me to tweet about? Asking this question will give you an opportunity to receive broad topics that you can list down and start searching for that content on Google. Give them options to choose from. If you start a poll, you're giving people multiple options of topics that they can vote on. Polls will engage your audience to vote for a topic, since it's easy to do, and they will just choose from the topics you have posted in your tweet. Your audience won't have to spend more time to think about the topic that they can suggest to you. This can help you decide what topic to search for based on the highest number of votes. Doing this will make sure that many of your followers would love to see this content and you will get more engagement and likes from them. You may notice in this example tweet, the top one choice percentage result is close to the second top choice. You can decide on finding content using these two topics since more people voted for these two. You'll be getting opinions from your followers of what they're interested in and mixing in your interest with the content. It's a great practice to share content that you find from other websites since the goal here is to provide your audience with content that they will find useful, valuable, and relevant to them. They won't be bothered if the content comes from another source. 
It is the content that they will be checking out. If they like it, then they can always check your Twitter account to view your tweets since they are already sure that they can find interesting tweets from your account. Now that you know about finding great content outside Twitter, we can now proceed to the next topic, creating a balance between images, text, and video. I'll see you there. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and go to technicforce.com for more tools and training.